guys, uh, installing stomp grips for my 2005 CBR 600 RR. Uh, so basically right now I'm doing the right side of the gas tank. Um, and one of the things that I noticed is that uh, they recommend a hair dryer, but uh, what I found was basically when you're applying the stomp grips, uh, there's gonna be some, a lot of grip uh, traction over here on the outside. So basically in order to get some of the air pockets out, what I did was um, I lightly apply it from my right hand and with my left thumb, I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate here, it basically just squeeze on the inside. Uh, just go from the left side, the left side from the top all the way to the bottom to see if you can get all the air pockets out. And then, uh, you know, you just wanna make sure you get all the air pockets out on one row, uh, sorry, one column rather, and then you just wanna continue going all the way up back again. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys uh, basically what I'm talking about here. Let's see if I can get it away from the glare. As you can see, applying it with pretty good pressure, trying to get all the air pockets out. Now it's probably not gonna be as professional as uh, getting it done in a, in a dealer, uh, but basically, you know, it's just a DIY. Um, all I really care about is performance instead of looks really. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this applied and uh, show you some picks after once it's done. All right, so I pretty much applied halfway up the right side of the stomp grip on the gas tank here. And as you can see, um, I've done a pretty good job right over here. Um, as I mentioned, basically applying pressure from uh, the columns instead of the rows. So basically gently push the, uh, the backing paper. Uh, just do little by little, you know, go nice and slow and apply as much pressure as you want. And I believe Stomp Grips, the instructions actually mentioned that, uh, you know, uh, it takes about 72 hours for it to fully stick and apply. Um, you know, you definitely want to use like a hair dryer to get the adhesive to really get that nice hot uh, contact and stick onto the gas tank. Um, for me right now, currently, um, it's pretty hot outside. I want to say it's at least in the 80s, low 80s. So, um, you know, if I leave the bike outside for a little while, um, it should be able to give me that. Uh, hair dryer effect. Um, got a couple of errands I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to take the bike out and uh, basically once I uh, finish one of my errands, I'm just going to go ahead and get off the bike and you know apply some more pressure and hopefully I can get some of those air pockets out. Um, not sure if you can really see up close, but you can actually uh, notice there are some minor air pockets as well. Alrighty, so I just finished applying the stomp grip on the right side here. That's basically what it looks like. Um, obviously you can notice the, there are some minor air pockets here and there, uh, but hopefully once I get it out in the heat, uh, let that adhesive kind of just blend in and get all the air pockets out, I uh, should be able to have a clear stomp grip, good to go. Um, as you can see right now, I do have a decal up here. You might not be able to uh, see it up too close there uh, because of the reflective of the, of the, of the traction grips there. But if you just back out a little bit, you should be able to see it. Hopefully you guys can tell what it says there. Um, unfortunately, the stomp grip does cover the decal, but I could really care less. Um, as long as, you know, as I mentioned before, performance-wise, that's the most important for me. You know, if it helps me uh, to be able to grip the gas tank, you know, not be too tired in the arms, and also be able to uh, corner a little bit better with the uh, stomp grips here, you know, that's all I really care about. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn around on the other side here and uh, show you the flip side here. I applied it uh, pretty decently. This is the first attempt. Um, as you can obviously notice here on the top, there's a couple of air pockets here on the sides. I pretty much bought these off of eBay. Uh, they're about 45 bucks, uh, pretty much standard price. Uh, they have pretty much all different types of gas tanks, uh, bikes out there, sports bikes. Um, I want to say maybe for cruisers and naked as well. So just go online. Uh, you can probably go to the website, uh, stompcrypt.com. I'll see if I can post a link at the bottom. Um, and you guys can just you know do a selection. Uh, they do have different colors. Uh, the one that I chose was obviously uh, clear, um, since I do have a decal that I want to still get shown there um, instead of uh, getting it covered. Uh, I believe they do have uh, standard black, and I think they might actually have white as well. Uh, not 100% sure, uh, but yeah, definitely going to uh, go out there and test the uh, stomp grips, and I'll probably leave a uh, comment or. Uh, info in the description um, you know after this video gets uploaded and i'll let you guys know how they are anyways thanks for watching guys uh, don't forget to hit that like and uh, share and subscribe button and i hope to see you guys in the next one thanks